welcome back guys so for this mission you do need the christmas lowers and baits to complete it i've tried the regular baits and uh let's just say that they don't work my advice is to get the baits in the shop for big coins or you can get the dlc which is 12.99 that's what i did and so far it paid off even though i'm against getting dlcs for a mission like this it's necessary so go on get it and uh just get the fishing you know because it's necessary and uh i'm just hoping that this guy's up with the spots and everything i've showed in it okay guys out of Naren river and lone star i choose lone star because you know it's way faster there with the dlc because i did get it the base i'm using are the mermaid red worms which are very like good for these fish so i recommend coming here if you guys can't get a dlc i'd recommend going to the shop to get some baits because you're gonna need them to complete this mission also if you're wondering what depth i'm using with the match rod it's 20 inches and the recommended hooks are 6 to 8 or should i say number 6 to 8 hooks I'm back with some more tips. So I chose Lesson Villa over Gent Teruzan, however you pronounce that name. So what I did in Lesson Villa was I fished all the areas with the lily pads in front. I kind of fished in between them and doing so with a few fireworks as well. I completely passed this mission with no hassle at all. And as you all can see, I did use the same marmalade red worms as well, and they work very good there.
okay guys welcome back so this is where things get a little bit messy or should i say a little bit tricky so for me to get the fish with the garland up to bit between mud water river and falcon lake which y'all know i'm a falcon lake guy so that's where i went to but it wasn't at all simple the trout they take their time to bite and i think they also went and cooled down I tried using live bait, even the frozen minnows from the DLC and nothing happened. So once I switched to the Xmas popper and the narrow spoon, then that's when I started seeing the result of the decorated cutthroat trouts start biting. Honestly, I tried using fireworks as well and to me it didn't change a thing. It was the same way, same slow paced. Nothing was biting and it was just a time consuming mission to complete. I would still recommend using the fireworks but only if the bias are like extremely slow then you guys should use it. At some point I did went to Mudwater River to see the difference. If they are more active over there, the event fish I'm talking and uh, they weren't. So I head back to Falcon Lake different peak time and just keep fishing took me some while but I got the job done So for the fish carrying the fish ornament, I chose Everglades over Rocky Lake. Even though I did have lowers and base to fish boat maps, but coming to Everglades I had no regrets. It was so fast, the drums were biting, and honestly, I don't think I did even need the fireworks to be honest. But at some point, I did use them in the video. And they did kind of help to be honest. Wasn't needed, but it was okay. So to keep it simple and fast, just use a frozen cup bait on bottom rods, 4 rod to 6 rod hooks. I did use a match rod, I caught one fish on it and that's about it you know, but the bottom rods are definitely the way to go.
So for the final mission I chose Emerald Lake over Tibber River to catch the fish carrying the angel topper and honestly it was quite simple didn't take much time and it was only one fish needed to complete the mission. So what I did was I fished one of the spots that I know I can catch almost everything in Emerald Lake and uh, you know in my mind I know it was going to be a walleye or pike or some type of you know pickerel and surprisingly it was one of them it was actually a pickerel so what I did was I skipped to the Sunday peak to have enough time to fish I used different varieties of bait to catch whatever fish it's going to be because at the moment I didn't have an idea what it was I don't know it could be any one of them so I used multiple type of baits and surprisingly that worked so hope this guide helps slash video and I will see you guys in the next ones. Also, if there's anything in this video that you guys are not sure about or I did it, what I said, please be free to comment in the comment section down below and I'll reply back to you guys as soon as possible.